Have a seat. Have your seat. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Today we are having an overflowing. All right. I want to appreciate God for another opportunity of witnessing the sixth year anniversary of the Kina family. Can we join our hands together? <laughs> I'm the most happier person. It's not even my namesake, Godwin. But I think I should be happy that despite all the war we face, God was with us. No more that we are bearing Godwin. Uh, by the grace of God, I've come with a mandate. Uh, I'm just looking at the crowd. I became afraid. What God said I should do. <laughs> it is where. I say it is where. By the time we are we are coming with my brother who brought me here with his car. When we are approaching this hall, I saw many people on white outside there. I say, hey. What is happening here? I mean, they have moved the venue <laughs> to another place. So, I become so curious. I said, ah, I was looking. I was looking. I was inside the car. I was looking. Until I came out. Then, and I saw one or two persons that I have recognized. I said, oh, I tell my brother, I said, ah, this is the Shakina family. They are still there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, in those days, I want to appreciate you, my beloved brother, Godwin Jr., uh, that is there. You see, I'm happy for you. I'm so happy. Uh, because this is the road. At 23 years old, I joined the Nigeria Police Force here in Lagos. Yes, 28. I got married. Twenty-nine, I've gotten a son. And by God's grace, my first son is 40 years plus now. And when I was in the police, I joined a saint. We called a saint. Just as my brother was talking, I was just looking at him. I joined a saint called Guru Maharaj. Why we have many uniform personnel there. And we are not ashamed when we are even putting on the flowers in our uniform. You see, custom officers, army officers, immigration officers, police, we are all there. I mean, but the funniest thing that I need protection. I need protection because I'm only the only child of my parents. I don't want to die premature. But as life goes on, because my father died early, just as my <laughs> my Timothy there, Godwin, Basi. My son, my father died early, and my mother died early as a result of sickness. So I don't want to die like them. Foolishly, I joined this Guru Maharaj. Because we are the first set of members. I rose to the position of premier where we wear white like this. When you are going to Ibadona, we started it at Iju. It was, that's after Gege Iju. That's where we, we started with this man. But do you know not just, I'm talking about I enter into deep relationship to the extent that we don't even worry. You cannot overcome me anyhow because both day and night we fly in the air. Because I need protection. 
But it gets to a stage. I'm still very young then. I became so tired. But I cannot move out. Because there's no way. I have an, an altar in my house where I worship him. But one thing I just want to tell us young men and young guests in the house. There's nothing like Jesus Christ. I remember when I say I'm living now, it was not easy. There I got paralyzed. There, in short, I faced a lot of trouble. But God delivered me. God have had an assignment for me which I do not know. I don't even know I will become a pastor one day. How much more? But one thing I know is that when you come to Jesus, you have 100% guarantee of your life. I remember there's a day after leaving them, they came to me at Medical Road, you know Medical Road at the Keja, Medical Road Junction, we are going to the airport. We are there early morning, walking. Suddenly, because I've left them, they came to me. Nobody is seeing them. I'm the one seeing them. They came to me and said, why do you leave us? Kurumaji need you. They want to give you more power. Want to, want, to, want to give you more power so that you can sell. I said, no. So they lifted me up. And my colleagues saw me be lifted up. And I fell down. And they asked me, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not so strong. I'm having fever. I want to go home. But they are fighting me. Until finally, until finally, I signed up fully. And that time, drunkenness was my own. You know, as a policeman, people give us free drink. We don't buy drink. Any hotel we enter, we free drinks. Free drinks. Free gas. But I give God the glory that he touched me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember the day after, after I gave my life to Christ, I said, let me see drink small, small. After us, if you drink small, small, it does not matter. But the day the Lord appeared to me on a white horse and said, I've asked you to come to me. And you have come. Now you are going back. Today I will kill you. <laughs> so our Ronnie was pushing me with a white horse. And eventually, when I woke up from that revelation, my wife was asking me, what happened, what happened? I said, ah, <laughs> the Lord is pursuing me. Until finally, I give my life completely to him. And since I give my life completely to him, they say, when, I give, when, I, when, you, when you confess and you tell anybody about them, they will kill you. But the Lord did not allow them to kill me. Even though when I was paralyzed, the Lord healed me after about a year. That same Jesus is here this evening. I say he's here. Whatever most of you are passing through now, we are passed through it. And the Lord never fail. Never fail me yet. Never fail me yet. Jesus love.
Reverend Shusi Bilegu, thank God you are here today again. My beloved sister, I ask of you on Friday night. Eh, you are welcome. That's that is my my friend wife. You see, we are being one session, work to keep together. The work separate us. And finally, I didn't know he's coming to take over from the choice I pastor. You see, Elijah brethren, they are very wonderful. There were times when we kick off in 2018. He's aware when I was going on transfer from there to Elijah. You see, when we came, we I discovered that so fashion. They say they want to pray. I say, pray. Pray now. And I joined them. I remember those of you that, that knew us. How we roll ourselves on the floor, myself and my wife. We roll ourselves on the floor, worshiping God. You will not know who is the pastor of that church. You will not know who is the member. All of us. Thank God, best in our world. Mama, you are welcome. God bless you, Grandma. God bless you. Thank you, you are there. So we stood with him. We stood with him. We remember, I want to appreciate God for his junior brother, John, Raymond, Bassi. Thank you very much wherever you are now. God bless you for standing by him. And I thank God for E Piano, my son. Thank you very much for standing when the ovation was very high. But we want to appreciate God for all of you who started with us when we began. And I know I have a pronunciation, I have a mandate, I have what I want to say, God say with you, bless you, that after this very one, the seventh to one you are going to mark by the grace of God, and here I'll be preparing for my retirement there. Oh, next year I'll be retired. I'll be 70 next year. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for all of you that stand here when we are one year old, two year old, three years old. It has not been easy. But I love him. He's a man that re gives respect to elderly people. He's an administrator. So I don't have problem when I was pastoring them. I will go and sleep while you're doing everything for us. I want to thank God for Richard Otinaka. Uh, Otinaka, I think I'm calling Otinaka, yes. Uh, these are the young men. When we are dead, most of them marry about, about one, two, three of them marry the same year. Uh, Otinaka, Richard, uh, uh, John, and Godwin. In short, the same the same year all of them got married. I said, this boy have got married. Uh -huh. and my men have increased. I want to thank you for all your support. Uh, John never allowed me to trek. Anywhere I'm going to, Uba is ready for me. Anywhere I'm going to in this Lagos, Uba is ready. He will pay ahead. And uh, when I'm coming, he said, Ted, tell Uba to. <laughs> he will make sure Uba will go there and carry me back again. John, God will honor you. Uh, God will honor you. And I know very soon uh, we are coming to celebrate you. And your wife, Tina, in the name of Jesus. God never fail. Second Samuel, chapter 9, verse 1 to 11. We know the story of the kindness. That David showed to Mephibosheth because of Jonathan's sake. You have not known what you have got here, but I know some of you know. Very small man in a very in a package that you can just look at him, and if you, if you not if you are not spiritually sound, just use your hand to wave it. It's not that small boy. It's not a small boy. You. It's a big man. When I discover him, I give him open door. Uh, by the grace of God, the Bible tells us there before we pray and anoint you. What did God say? That David said, is there no one in King Saul's house 
that can show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. Even though Jonathan have died, David remember the covenant. And the servant of King Saul said, Oh, he has a son, a grandson. And he said, Where is he? He said, He's in Noliba. Noliba, ladies and gentlemen, Noliba is a forgotten place. Noliba is a place of those that have been wasted. Loliba is a place where no man wants to go to. It's a place, place for the crippled, the blind, and those who that are sick and afflicted af with one thing or another. But David said, where is he? My friend, you are welcome, eh? Pastor, God bless you. You have done very, very well. I'll wash you on the line. I do wash you. Thank you for burying God for Jesus. You are there. God bless you. Sir. And you know, David said, Where is he? He said, In Oliba. I don't care where the enemy have thrown you into. That same Jesus that brought us out from that pit will bring you out. Ziba quickly tell him. The young man we are asking of is a cripple. And cripple in Israel are not allowed to come to the city. How much more to the palace? Say, go and fetch him. Ladies and gentlemen, God is not looking for those who are upright to use. <laughs> He's looking for those who the world have condemned. Is looking for those whom the world has forgotten. That's the people that Jesus was looking for. He's looking for sinners. He wants to cleanse them. And I know I came here this evening or this afternoon to tell someone here that after this flourish program, your life will never remain the same. And when they brought Mephibosheth back to the city, I mean to the palace, you know someone is here, you told that, you told that your, your, yours has gone, your, your job, you have no place in the family, you have no place in that. Let me tell you, I think I'm, I'm about, I'm going to 70 years now. You discover that God never fail. And my God will never disappoint you. That God who uphold us, fatherless and motherless, who have no father and mother, that same God will uphold you. So this evening, thank you, my friend and my brother, Godwin, leader of service, God bless you. You see, I know the rice is still hot. God, I hope the rice is still hot. Because, <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This evening, without wasting time, God is taking someone from Lonely Bar to the palace. I said, God is taking someone. If you are the one I'm speaking to, you are coming out from that dungeon. You are coming out from that waste of pain. We are coming out being injured. You are coming out from that suffering. You are coming out from that barrenness. You are coming out from that poverty. You are coming. I said, someone is coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. In the name of Jesus. You see, I know many of you have gotten some promotion, spiritual promotion, physical promotion, material promotion this year. After the fifth anniversary. And by God's grace, as you are closing over to 2025, you are going to experience another promotion. I say you experience another promotion. 
If you are the one, can I hear you say better amen? amen. <laughs> well, you will not understand. When you get it, you, you will tell us later. And I'm very happy witnessing many testimonies that have been going online of what God is doing here every Wednesday. I'm so excited. I think 3 a.m. I will wait, watch the program until we finish. Say the last prayer before I will go and sleep. Even I'm having a program, once we close, I will come and join. That will tell you how passionate I am for Shekinah. Shekinah is my baby. And I'm so happy that that baby that was not wearing pint that time is <laughs> now wearing pint. And it's, uh, it is growing. And it will continue to grow. No evil that man plan against you that will prosper. You are going to a cell. In short, people are not admonishing you. People are not talking about you already. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank my brother, Reverend Israel Nejue, who have been helping to make sure that Chikina move ahead. I, 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 I really appreciate him. You know, we, <laughs> I would not like to tell you some some certain things. But God has been really be helping us. Helping us. Helping us. And we continue to help us. And they continue to help us. I remember a day when I was called from Lake District. We, we are made to understand you are the one who approved a Shekinah program. To that one, one young man. <laughs> and uh, you know that cannot operate in two churches in this assembly of God. Why do you allow that? But thank God. I give God the glory for all God. That we hold upon you and say, as long as they are concerned, you are not going anywhere. Today, you are coming out. You are coming out. Please, God will help me. Uh, well, God will help me because I want to do something. Get that oil yeah, for me. Void any person. Bring. I may not have time to do this, but let me do it. Under instruction. We're talking about flourish. We're talking about growth. We talk about strength. We talk, we talk about weight. And that is exactly what you see. We are buying that land we are talking about. God will buy the land. Because if we get to a stage, this place it will not occupy anybody again. And, and you know what will happen. But before that time, God will provide us a land. <laughs> Shall we stand on our feet? Father, in the name of Jesus. We're talking about flourish here. The scripture says, by the reason of the anointing, yoke shall be broken from our head.
from our shoulder and from every part of our body. Lord Jesus, I release your grace for your people to flourish into this vessel. Not more oil, but the power of your glory. I know you, Lord. You are a God that answers by fire. And as many, oh God, that are here, that we tap to the grace of productivities, wet, good head. I never go to hospital. Nobody ever, ever admit me one day in the hospital. That's by my age. Daddy, you will grant these people good health. Amen. You give them power. Amen. At my age, I can still run from here to Barriga bus stop. I have to tell you that God is able to do great and wondrous things. Father, I pray. I release it unto them. May grace to be favored, to flourish, be released unto you now. As pantry never got broken suddenly, may your life never be broken suddenly. As pantry flourish, may your life remain flourish. Amen. Every power that is haunting men, they will never see you. Amen. That God that delivers us, and today we preach the gospel of Jesus, that same Jesus will deliver you. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, please. I want you to believe what I'm about to do. It's going to be well with you. I know the crowd is very, very much. But you will, you will become so fast. So I will take 15 minutes. Please God me. Give me a little chance. Grace will spread it to you. We are looking at the time. Time is no more our friend. But nevertheless, what you are going to do, we don't have up to three or four vessels here. What you're supposed to do is that I don't want to leave you just going like that. Assuming we have up to three of this one or four, it could be better. By yourself, you will run down here. It's going to be speed. Let Sabi, my reverend, Ebilegu Chooks. They will join me here. What you do, you key in with a seed. That's all. Say, Lord, I key in with this seed offering to flourish for my family. I want to flourish. I want to key in to the ministry that, that we are having here called Shekinah family. Lord, I'm, I want to go with divine speed. And I 
want to assure you, no evil shall be for you. So please, uh, you, you will lie long. Yeah, thank you very much. I don't want to disobey. I slept after three this morning because of this program. You, yes. You will discover that something will happen to you that the type of favor that you, people continue to ask, how did it happen? How manage? Where do you go? Where are you coming from? It, it, it will take place in someone's life today. Do you believe that? Can I hear you say a better amen? All right. You give us a light music. You, you will come with speed. Please help me. Because I discovered that you guys are many. Come with the speed. If you don't have, please come. If you have, please come. Drop a seed on this altar. And say, Lord, I give in to the servant that is ministry to me. Every year, I do come here to bless you. By the grace of God, this year, your life will have a good turn around. All right, give us the light music. You do well, Lord. You take care of Please, can we start coming? Please. We don't have time. Most of us come from very far. Let's come with speed. Let's do this very fast. Time has gone, please. Please. As fast as you can. Just touch your noise here and go back to your seats. Oh 
Thank you very much. You can honorably have your seat. Grandpa, thank you so very much. Thank you very, very much. The Father's blessings should not be trifled with. If you will play with any other thing, don't play with your Father's blessings. Um, many years ago, some people that are coming from the village, when they are leaving, their parents will tell them, hmm, as you are going, know whose child you are. I bless you. That Lagos will favor you. They come with only um, walkie-talkie nylon and their clothes inside. But today, they have houses in Lagos and every other place. Father's blessings, don't play with it. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Now, for want of time, we unfortunately are going to skip the dance by Yang and Co. We are sorry for want of time. However, if everything is done and we see our time on our side, we can still take you. And um, we are going to cut our anniversary cake right now. And after that, we we'll take our offering. Um, Chigose, please get ready. So to cut this cake, may I please invite Sabi? Please come around. Okay, praise the Lord. Listen, I want every member of the Shekinah CPC to come around, please. The Central Planning Committee members of Shekinah family, please. Let's make it snappy. People are going very far. I need to dismiss them, please. If you're a space member, please run down here, run down here, run down here, run down here. By the time it's fast spent, run down here, run down here. Run down here, run down here, please. Run down here, please. All members of the CPC, thank you so much. Okay, we need a father in our midst also to help us with the cutting of this cake. So, um, once again, I want to crave the indulgence of the pastor key once again, and that the chooks, please, two of you, please, um, your fathers, just come and help us with the cutting of the cake. So, I'm going to spell Shekina, and I'll spell it Shekina means God's manifested glory. So, this cake is glorious. So, uh, daddy, please. Daddy, please. All right. Okay, so you just stretch for your hand to the cake. You don't have to touch it. Uh, daddy's hand will be there on my own. Uh -huh. So, when I spell Shekina, we are going to cut the cake. And um, I think we can do this together. Is that fine? Okay, give me S. Give me H. Give me E, e. give me K, e. give me I, I. give me N. N, give me A, e. and give me the final H. E. Shaki, now, hallelujah. Put hands together for Jesus, put hands together for Jesus. Thank you, thank you.